Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a plan with me for March 2020 where I'm planning in my bullet journal. I am also planning my editorial calendar as far as what I will be posting on YouTube and Instagram. Plus, I am updating my book companion journal as far as all the things that have happened for Between Us in February. So if you're ready to get inspired and to start planning, then keep on watching. So the first page in March is going to be just the monthly calendar with March at the side of it. And I did add a little bit of color just to make it spring-like. I'm probably gonna add more as the weeks go on. I usually do that, like I do like just, I start off with like just the basics and then because I get tired of the way it looks, I go back in and add color, which is something you can do to your own bullet journal. You don't have to have it all figured out when you first start. The month you can just add as you go. So I don't know, that's my tip. I've also gone into my sticker book and just added a few stickers just to add another pop of color and just to make it more spring-like. The next page, I'm dedicating it to my tracker. I will be tracking things like my headaches, my meditation, my workout, my cycle, because I want to see if some of these things coincide with each other. For example, I've been getting really bad headaches. At least once or twice a month, I get these headaches that just don't go away with any medication. So I want to see if they have anything to do with my cycle or when I don't work out or if it actually goes away when I do work out. So that is basically what I'm using this tracker for. The next page will be dedicated to my goals for March. I will select the five different areas that I wanna work on from all the things that I decided I was going to accomplish at the beginning of the year, which is, if you guys have not seen that video, I decided to work on my goals in a quarterly fashion. So here we are, this is the last month for the first quarter. So I'll be reviewing all the things that I haven't accomplished yet and how I will be accomplishing them in March. The next page I'm dedicating to my first quarter wins. I really want to acknowledge all the great things that I accomplished in the first quarter, all the things that I set out to do and that I actually did do. I think it's important to notice all the things that we accomplish. In other words, um, have an attitude of gratitude for everything that we do do. Uh, this page I'm dedicating for my future goals, meaning all the things that I want to accomplish in the second quarter. And the final page in my setup for this month will be my weekly spread. And that's what I'm doing right now. I actually got a little confused and I started doing it a little differently. That's not the way I usually do my weekly spreads. Um, the way I usually do it, I actually show you guys in that video that I did in January when I was actually setting up my weekly um, or my quarterly bullet journals. So if you guys wanna check out how I normally do that, you can go watch that video. But this will work for this week and then next week I'll go back to my regular spread. So this is how March turned out. I'm pretty happy with it. You know, it serves its purpose. I can work in it and document all my things. And now on to my editorial calendar. The first thing I did was print out this blank calendar that I saved. I also have a, another video where I show you guys how I plan out my YouTube schedule. I decided at first I was using two different ones, one for YouTube, one for Instagram. I decided to combine them just for, you know, just to make things less complicated. And I don't like writing all these uh, scheduling things inside my bullet journal. That's why I decided to do it in a separate area like this and it's been working out pretty good for me. I don't exactly have all the videos in mind yet for March. Um, I'm still debating actually you guys whether I'm still going to be doing twice a week or if I'm just going to condense it down to once a week because it does take me a lot of time not to just record but to edit and now that between us it's over and it's going to basically be published this month 
and all that's left to do with that is just continue marketing and advertising and all the things i'm getting back to finishing the sequel to between us so i will be doing a lot more writing therefore um when i do write a lot i don't want to spend a lot of time doing other things and i love recording videos and editing them actually editing is one of my favorite things to do when it comes to youtube but if i want to publish the next book quickly which is my goal then I'm gonna to have to dedicate a lot of time to writing all that to say that even though I'm planning this editorial calendar right here I'm still not sure if I'll be posting once or twice a week but it's looking more like once a week and now we're moving into my book companion journal. If you guys are not familiar with this, this, this is my own product where I created for us writers to have as an added resource and tool. And I have a video all on what this is all about. So make sure you check it out if you don't know what I am talking about when it comes to my book companion journal. But what I am doing, this particular book, is for between us. So I'm adding all the things that happened in February that I want to remember. For example, formatting between us and sharing it with you guys and uploading it to KDP and all the print on demand companies that will be selling the book. So I wanted to make sure I documented that in the journal. If you guys don't have this journal yet, I highly encourage you to do it. I love scrapbooking for one, but aside from that, I love to be able to have all my memories of the book that I am writing in one place. I have so many notes on here, including like the size of the book. For some reason, I kept forgetting what size my book was, and believe it or not, I did need that information several times. So it's not just this fun part of the book, which I totally love, but all the other things that are important to uh, writing a book that I was able to condense and keep in one place. Next thing I did is I decided to print out the reviews that I've gotten so far on Goodreads because I did send some arcs out. Some people did finish reading it and they did wrote, write reviews on it. So I wanted to document that in the journal. Also, I wanted to let you know if you have pre-ordered Between Us or if you're reading Between Us, I did start a Facebook group that I think you guys will really love. I'm going to be very personable in there, add a lot of information about Facebook, about Between Us that I didn't share in the book. And I would love to have you guys over there. If you want to join me, make sure you go to Instagram. The Facebook page is right there, but actually, you know what? Never mind. I am going to link it in the description box below for you guys to go ahead. And it's a Facebook group just for Between Us if you guys want to join me over there. Let me know if you guys have the journal already and how much you are loving it. And let me know actually what's your favorite part about the journal. This is actually one of my favorite things about the journal. Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this plan with me. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and that you share it with all your writerly friends so that they too get inspired and motivated to finish that book. If you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so on your way out. And until next time, stay safe.